Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, The Take Your Life Back Today radio show. Also on YouTube channel, Take Your Life Back Today show as a uh, video version of this radio programming. Folks, tomorrow's Easter. This is my second show today. How are your children uh, affected by drug-addicted parents? There are parents out there that have this. With over 30 million Americans currently struggling with substance abuse or alcoholism, it is shocking to remember the byproduct and repercussions of such a deadly epidemic. Economically, at the state and federal level, the price of addiction manifests through lost productivity and other devastating ways. Fatalities, traffic accidents, and injuries related to substance abuse take thousands of lives each and every year, not to mention accidental overdoses that happen. Uh, more fre frequently amongst prescription drug addicts. Despite all the tragic losses that result from substance abuse, the most saddening byproduct of substance abuse is neglect, abuse, and maltreatment of children whose parents are addicted to drugs because of addiction and alcoholism, alter perception and reality very frequently. Children of parents who are chemically dependent are not uncommonly found to be put in harm's way, neglected, or otherwise abused. Friends, child abuse clearly defined. The terms and circumstances which define child abuse and neglect are clearly defined at a federal level. According to the Child Abuse Prevention and Treatment Act, the mistreatment of children is defined as this. Any recent act or failure to act on part of a parent or caregiver which result in the death, serious physical or emotional harm, sexual abuse or exploitation, or an act or failure to act which presents an imminent risk of serious harm. That is the definition by, by far. Friends, what, what could this mean in the case of children put in danger by the way of drug abuse in the home? While even just exposing children to dangerous and illegal drugs could easily be considered maltreatment, additional abuse or neglect may manifest in any of the following ways. Now listen up here. Violence or verbal abuse resulting from being drunk or high. Sexual abuse or behavior which makes a child feel uh, uncomfortable. Forcing a child to hide an adult's drug abuse or alcoholism consistently leaving a child alone at home and consistently ignoring a child or their needs, lack of attention. Friends, the long-term effects of childhood exposure to drug use is this. Studies exist and have been completed which focus on the long-term effects of substance abuse on the youth who are present. A shocking number of currently detained prison inmates and rehab attendees admit they had a uh, tumultuous upbringing, having experienced some sort of neglect or physical, sexual, or verbal abuse. Further, these individuals were aware of criminality or substance abuse in their own environment, setting a powerful uh, negative example for such youth. It is wholly observable that children who grow up amongst drug abuse, alcoholism, and criminality tend to join in these activities. This creates some, some, uh, something of a uh, trend, making those children who are born into un underprivileged homes and neighborhoods more likely to remain in the system than the children who are born of better circumstances with attentive, drug-free parents. My book, uh, uh, say yes to hugs, no to drugs is, is about this. Breaking the cycle, what can you do? As we look at analyzing how drug addict parents affect children, we conclude that the most important focus of this issue is breaking the cycle of substance abuse amongst youth. Many youths have entered into drug and alcohol abuse paths of their own, largely due to their exposure to such activity as, as young children. However, this cycle can be taken apart and the course of the youth li lives uh, or lives can be changed. Support local children and family centers. These groups offer a safe environment and supportive care to the children when parents are unable to do so for their own kids. Demand drug education in all schools in your area. 
Although drug prevention begins in the home, having preventative education at a young age continues to be an effective way to keep kids off drugs. Folks, I have three books. Bottoms Up Surrendering to God, Not to Booze, Struggles Became My Strength, and also uh, Say Yes to Hugs, No to Drugs. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves, be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile to a total stranger can make a difference in their life, can make a difference in your life. And remember, to, a role model, what happens at home is how your kids are going to walk out of your home one day and start utilizing.